today i am going to share you the concept of mass source and how it is defined in etaps before directly entering into the etaps and its definition i want you to know the concept that is hidden behind the mass source and the codal provision provided for it as per is 1893 part 1 2016 it is mentioned in the clause 7.2 that the base shear is equal to original base shear coefficient times seismic weight as the original seismic coefficient base shear coefficient is calculated easily from clause number 6.4.2 and w the seismic weight will be calculated according to clause number 7.3.1 and 7.2.2 according to clause 7.2.2 minimum design lateral force will be according to the table number 7 whether it is designed seismically or not the minimum value of lateral force that building will resist will be equal to 0.7 percentage of seismic weight in case of zone number 2 1.1 percentage of seismic weight in case of zone number 3 1.6 percentage of seismic weight for zone number 4 and 2.4 percentage of seismic weight for for zone number 5 this is the minimum value that we have to maintain that we have to consider that the building is supposed to be acted upon let us uh, let 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 us make it clear by an example suppose a building is located in zone number 5 and seismic weight is 10000 kN and the base shear calculated according to the clause 7.3.1 is 200 kN minimum value of base shear as per table number 7 for zone number 5 is 2.4 percentage of total load seismic weight which is equal to 240 kN per kN and and here we find that we see here that base shear from 7.3.1 is less than base shear mentioned in table number 4 so the minimum value is to be mentioned this is what table number 7 or clause 7.2.2 wants to tell us now jumping into the clause number 7.31.1 it is clear that the total seismic load w is equal to 100 percentage of dead load plus percentage of imposed load and that percentage of imposed load will be according to clause number 7.3.2 and the table number 10 according to according to according to clause number 7.3.2 it is clear that for calculation of seismic force for top story building imposed load on the roof need not to be considered because there will be no any live load during earthquake it is assumed that there will be no live load during earthquake but weight of equipment and other permanently fixed facilities should be considered in such cases the reduction of imposed load mentioned in the table are not applicable to that part of load this means for the calculation of top story building for the load for the load calculation for the top story building uh, live load is not considered but the but the imposed load of fixed nature which will remain fixed that type of load will be added as it is without taking any percentage as in table number 10 but in case of other story the live load less than 3 kN per meter square for the live load less than 3 kN per meter square only 25% of imposed load should be considered and for live load greater than or imposed load greater than 3 kN per meter square 50% is to be considered same concept will be apply here also it is assumed that 25% of total live load less than 3 will be will be available during earthquake and 50 percentage of live load greater than 3 km per meter square will be available during earthquake this is the logic this is the funda if we consider 100 percent of live load then the structure will not be economical and it will not be practical also this is not a universal formula we can change it according to the according to the nature of forces which is mentioned in 3.7.3.3 imposed load value indicated in the table number 10 for calculating the design or lateral forces are applicable to normal load conditions this is 
only for normal load condition if the loading will be complex then when the loading during earthquake are more accurately addressed designer may alter imposed value integrate or even replace the entire imposed load given in the table 10 if designer want designer find that these uh, these values are not good I, I need to change it then he can change but while changing these percentage of imposed impose load he must have to take care uh, care about the minimum value of imposed load that uh, that a building must be imposed of as mentioned in table number seven this is all about the concept of mass source and to tell you how to define the mass source in e tabs go to define menu go to mass source add new mass source you can edit name here mass source you can uh, you have to uncheck this option and you have to check this option let load pattern if you check this option dead load will be twice considered here so i uncheck this option dead load add 100 percent floor finish also dead load 100 percent roof life is not considered because i'll to i will tell you why it is not considered wall load 100 percent add partition wall load 100 percent add live load less than three there is only 25 percent contribution add live load greater than three 50 percent contribution add and there will be and this one and this one is not not considered here this is how mass source is defined this option remain unchecked because this is checked only in case of three dimensional structural analysis this is two, two dimensional structural analysis so these two options is only checked here if we check this option there is there will be a warning option that there there is two times self mass is considered so we have to uncheck up this this option okay this is how mass source is defined in tabs thank you